Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Movie Madness. The show where I take a movie, break it down, give you my thoughts and feelings of what I like about the movie. So it's not really a review, it's just me gabbing on about some film that you probably already know since you've clicked this video. Okay, so, um, as I said last week, I, I think I'm going to do some kind of little Wednesday thing um, until I run out of um, sort of superhero movies to talk about, should I say, or hero movies to talk about. Or comic book movies, should I even say, a comic book movie Wednesday, I'll call it that, um, for movie madness. Um, I, I won't even say it's superheroes, just call it comic books, um, comic book movies madness, or whatever, comic book Wednesday, um, for movie madness, uh, where I just talk about comic book movies, uh, movies that were comic books into, into movies, you know the point, I'm trying to say. So yeah, I'm going to talk about The Crow, 1995, I believe. 1985? I'm sure it's 1985. Um, the Crow, uh, though it's not a superhero movie as such, it is a comic book movie. Um, and I just felt that The Crow is one of these movies that, because, I mean I was late with The Crow, I'll be honest with you, I was I was really late with The Crow. I mean I didn't see The Crow until about nearly 10 years ago, if that. Um, it was one of these ones that it, it, it uh, pa uh, bypassed me um, for whatever reason. Uh, just probably because it was the way it was, the way it is. I mean, 1995, I wasn't buying films. My mum was buying me videos. Um, I've told you the story, but my mum get me videos every week, and that was one of the mo uh, that was just one of the movies that she never got me. Um, not even that. I mean, there was a lot of other movies she just never got me, but. It was one of the ones because I didn't see it with any pals or anything like that. I had to see it from a friend that gave me a loan of the the, the film eventually. And I think it was about 10, ten years ago. Um, so, yeah, Brandon Lee, definitely The Crow, will be missed. <clears throat> uh, I think it's going to get remade. Oh, it's been talk there's been talks about a remake. When they remake it, I don't know. Uh... But I mean, there's something really, I mean, there's something really good about that film. I mean, I know it's dark and it's got def different gothic themes, but it's just something really, really. <clears throat> it's hard to put my finger on it. I mean, I know they say that it's Brandon Lee's last movie, right? And the ironic thing about it is the makeup that he's wearing, right? He's got this kind of clown, almost like a clown sort of face. Now, if you see. The Dark Knight, and you look at Heath Ledger's makeup, compare it to his. They're not exactly the same, but there's some similarities there. Um, definitely one about um, you know the clown sort of makeup, as I said before. And just a pure shame, the fact that the two of them died. Um, he died on that movie, and he died on another movie, but after that movie. Um, and it's, they movies seem to be their big, you know, their big hits, the ones that made them big. He never got a chance to see his, and neither did, hit, neither did uh, Heath Ledger, but, you know, um, that was the ones that made them big. Uh, it was kind of strange that that happened, but it was either coincidence or, I don't know. But, The Crow, definitely, um, one to watch. If you've not seen it, you got to get a hold of it somehow. I don't know how you get a hold of movies, why you download movies, whether you just stream movies, whether you do something, I don't know. I'm sure you'll find it. The the Crow's one that most people have seen. Very dark, as I've said before. Um, violent. Yeah, there's a few bits of violence in it. Brandon Lee's performance in it is, is to truly, I'll be honest with you, I've not seen, I've not really watched a lot of Brandon Lee movies, I have to be honest with you, I've not. Um, I'm, I'm not really big. I wouldn't say I'm not a big kung, kung fu guy or anything like that. I mean, I like Bruce Lee movies, um, things like that. I don't think it was something that would go out my way um, if there was one on in the pictures and I to go and see. Uh, not, I I would revisit uh, certain ones, you know, like um, uh, and obviously Into the Dragon. I love that. Certain things like that, Bruce Lee movies. Um, but I'm not a huge um, Brandon, Brandon Lee kind of guy. Uh, I've not really seen a lot of his work. 
The Crow's only one because that's one of the big ones. But that's about it. Um, I guess the reason why I wanted to talk to you about The Crow today was because um, it is a comic book movie and though I was unaware of this until recently, I, I know, I know, I don't, I'm a big film fan too, uh, just this year, uh, I watch a, a, a show on um, YouTube called, uh, it used to be called AMC Movie Talk, but it's now it's called Collider Movie Talk. They've also got a, a show called uh, Heroes on that. And basically every Tuesday or whatever, they just basically for maybe an hour odds talk about uh, different things, that, diff different uh, news in the world of superhero movies or comic book movies. And they tell you one, um, like a flashback sort of movie in the category. At some point they tell you, like, today we'll talk about The Crow um, and what kind of comic book that has. And I had no idea it was a comic book movie. Um, and not only that, I suppose I did really watch the, the, the wee hit behind the scenes footage after that and it showed me that, you know, the guy that drew it and, and made it in a comic book. Why I missed past that, I don't know. Um, but like I say, I came late into the game with The Crow. Um, I haven't really seen the sequels, the dreadful sequels that followed, so I couldn't really tell you what they're like. Um, but you can always let me in the, know in the comments below what you think of all that. Um, if you're a big Crow fan, um, I love The Crow. Um, I can't say I'm a huge fan. Um, I don't know why, because I, maybe because I didn't grow up in it. Um, I love the movie. Uh, I don't, you know, don't hate it or anything. I, I don't. I, I really do love the movie. I, I would watch it any time, and I think I've got a lot of time for the movie. I I, I love every bit of it. Um, I'm not a big, big massive fan on it though. Um, I could take it some days or leave it, just depending on what mood I'm in. Uh, because as I say, I didn't grow up on it, and if I had grown up on it, I would have said I'd love it a wee bit more. And um, again, I'm not a big uh, Brandon Lee person. But apart from that, the movie's great. Uh, a really great movie. Um, I'm trying to think of certain other things to, to tell you about this movie. I mean, I know that scene where he gets shot. Um, I watched a few interviews and that, and behind the scenes of that. And I think it's the bit where he comes in. And he's sort of like, like that. And he says that Jesus Christ walked into a bar. And then he, the guy shoots him. And I think it was that scene. That, that was the scene that he, sh that he shot him. Now, I could be wrong. Um, I basically wanted to... I mean, I know you're sitting there going, why are you talking about this if you're sort of struggling for words for this? But it's because... I'm trying to think of things in my head without using the internet that I know... Um, about the movie that I could sort of give you a wee behind the scenes sort of sort of take on it. And now you've probably come across it, a big massive, massive um crew fans, probably no more than me. Um and you just want to say, oh, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Uh, you know, all movies are subjective. I I love the crow. I don't hate it. I'm just not a huge, huge fan of the movie, not like I'm like Batman or something like that. Uh but, you know, I do own uh certain figures of the movie. Uh, little, uh, I think it's a uh, McFarlane or Movie Maniacs um, that did them, and I do, I do own sort of like figures of them. There was a Hot Toy version released about a couple of years ago. Um, I just never really fancied in picking it up. Uh, if I see it really cheap on something, I might decide to get it. Uh, at the moment, I'm not really, I'm not really too fast. Um, I try to save as well. I can't even afford Hot Toys these days. As much as I'd like to. Um, so yeah, definitely guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of The Crow? Um, the Crow is really... It's one of these movies out, it's a bit out there. And I haven't seen the sequels that followed. That, even though they're dreadful. But I haven't had a chance to check them out. To, to say, oh, they are dreadful. Um, but because it was a comic book uh, movie. I decided, well, why don't why not I talk about it. Um, comic book Wednesday, I'll, I'll, I'll do I try and I do a movie about comic books that, that I quite enjoy or like. And definitely this is one of them. Um, I was going to talk about something else, but I thought I decided to leave that till maybe next week. Um, but I just thought I'd let you know about The Crow because I prefer The Crow to the, the other one I was going to, going to talk about. And uh, so, no, definitely, uh, The Crow, get a chance to check it out, guys. Uh, 
one of the best. Uh, probably is the best. And even if they do remake it, I'll still say it's going to be the best um, Crow movie out there.